Okay, we're going to tie the emerald caddis, a pattern taken from the book Tying and Fishing Soft Hackled Nymphs, written by Alan McGee. A key technique demonstrated in this video is the use of oversized hackle to tie a size 18 pattern. After you see this technique, you'll find the right size feather is a little easier to come up with thanks to Alan McGee and his book, which is jam-packed with tips like this, not only for tying, but for fishing soft hackle flies. You can see here I've started the hook and wound back to about the midway point. And I'm going to attach my rib here and uh, I'll pull in this excess and then wrap back to the bend allowing the thread torque to pull the rib to the bottom. Then I'll rotate the hook down and start measuring the oversized hackle against the hook shank to establish the tie-in point on the shank. So I'm going to line the tips up with the eye. Then I'll establish my bend point. I'll move the bend point to the eye and where the stem crosses the shank is my tie-in point. So I'll move the thread forward to that and let's check it again. I've got the tips aligned with the eye. Here's my bend point. I'm going to move that to the eye and where the stem crosses the shank is where my thread's hanging and that's where we want to tie this feather in. So I'm going to prep this by uh, tearing this material, this fluffy stuff off the bottom. I'll try to get up high enough on the stem so that I'm past the uh, hollow part of the stem. I'm going to take a few more fibers off here. And uh, with that point established, I'll stroke these lower fibers down and prep the tip. So I'll stroke these away, cut this tip off square and trim down both sides of the stem to give me a nice tag to tie in, a nice square tag. Great. I'll get these fibers out of the way. And it'll only take uh, two or three wraps to secure this tag, but I'm going to wrap up to the eye and then bring the bobbin cradle up and hang my bobbin and thread out over the cradle head. It gets everything right out of the way so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to roll this over and get my hackle pliers and uh, grip this and stroke these fibers to the rear and start wrapping. And I'll get a couple wraps out of this too is probably all I want anyway. Watch out for that hackle point. So there's one. And around that point again. And there's two wraps. And I'll tie this stem off now. Get that bobbin cradle out of the way. Wrap back to the stem, and uh, I'll just pass the thread underneath it and then come up over the top of it and tie it off. And with that two wraps on there and that tied off securely, I can just go ahead and trim it, and I'll wrap back up towards the eye and trap the stem the rest of the uh, length of the shank going forward. Get that hackle out of the way. And then I'll fold this hackle forward and uh, get it sticking out beyond the eye. And uh, as long as I've got a shank length sticking out beyond the eye, uh, this is going to work out fine proportion wise. Stroke these up, try to keep them fairly evenly distributed around the uh, shank. Stroke these tips and pull them out so that the uh, fibers are fairly straight. And <clears throat> try to get them distributed all the way around the hook shank. Rotate this down. Check. I've got a big gap here. So I'm just going to kind of twist them into place. So I've got them distributed the way I want them. 
I'll wrap back towards the bend and uh, get started on the dubbing. So this is just rabbit dubbing, yellow, uh, nice easy dubbing to put on. I'll start with just a, a little bit here on the uh, on the point or the end here and then build a tapered rope, if you will, of dubbing material using the offhand dubbing technique and then just wrap this body forward. I'll wrap to the back or bend of the hook using up that excess thread that was bare and now you see the dubbing is just starting to wrap around the hook and I'll wrap forward. And as I get up here towards the midway point, I've got to remember that uh, I've got to leave room for a thorax. So I'll tighten that dubbing up a little bit and end this body. I'm making a few extra wraps here, uh, knowing that these wraps are going to unwind. Those extra wraps I just made are going to unwind as I counter wrap this rib. You see the bobbin dropping off the bottom of the screen as I wrap this rib up. And I don't like the way that's laying, so let me unwrap that. Take advantage of the rotary feature of the vise and just unwrap back. And uh, now that my segments are nice and even, that's what I wanted. And there's my thread waiting right there for me, so I'll use it to trap this wire down. I've got it nice and secure. I'll come in and just twist it off or helicopter it off. And uh, everything looks like it's okay. So I'll take some peacock curl. There's a pair of them here. Tie them in. Wrap back. Make a nice little bed to wrap on. I'm going to rotate this down and take these two hurls and wrap them around the thread to reinforce the hurl. And then I'm going to wrap a couple wraps towards the eye, then back towards the body, and back towards the eye to make a nice uh, robust thorax area. And back towards the eye and tie this off. Get the thread to come up out of there. Rather than snap these, I'm going to just uh, trim them and be safe, I think. And that's it. Time to fold that hackle back. So I'll just kind of keep pinching and folding, hoping to get it all back or as much of it as, as I can. If I can't get some of these back, I'll just have to trim them off. Looks like they're all going to go fairly nicely. That thread was hanging right up at the rear of the eye and so uh, it, it was easy to fold the hackle right past the thread and eight or ten wraps there kind of builds up uh, enough thread bump to hold that hackle back in that folded position. So I'll whip finish this off and, and uh, here's a size 18 soft hackle tied using a uh, that was at least a 10 or a 12 hackle. Trim many of those that didn't look quite right out. And uh, there you have it. Rough this body up a little bit. And we've got a finished emerald caddis. Size 18. And like I said, that was at least a a uh, 10 or a 12 soft hackle. The Emerald Caddis, tied using rotary fly tying techniques. <laughs>